14-day diet. Now, this was because I have a show coming up in Europe and I really haven't dieted since pretty much last summer. So I really want to look good for my show and kick off 2020 in a healthy, motivational year. So I remember when I first did my ever, ever, like, worst extreme diet ever. It was when I was preparing for my first ever music video. And I remember, like, the company, they told me that I was not looking in my best shape. So I only had two and a half weeks to my music video first ever and I was, like, in a rush to lose weight and I remember in that diet I starved myself I remember I ate like this much of spinach like literally half of half of half of a chicken breast and I lost a lot of weight but I was so depressed I was on the verge of like passing out and I was so unhealth happy so this was the plan for my diet number one was to write down my goals my goal was to have a flat stomach and also to make some abs of course in two weeks there's no way I could make like a perfect fit fitness trainer ab or anything like that but I just wanted to have a little bit of ab showing number two I did not really care about the numbers of my weight next the reason why I chose 14 days two weeks was so two weeks is a really nice time to just crunch it all in the next thing I was gonna do was exercise every single day I have not done this ever in my life where I actually exercise seven days a week the last thing and the most important thing was diet I was gonna cut off all fried foods soda candy juices cut all carbs as much as I can and stick to a really low calorie healthy diet so day one started I was feeling a little bit bloated because you know it was almost my time of the month also I have not exercised every day or like kept myself really on a healthy diet for a couple months since last summer basically so what I did was every day when I woke up I decided to not eat hard breakfast skip the breakfast and replace it with a meal replacement every single time when I make breakfast it at least takes 30 minutes or longer. This was actually my first time ever working with meal replacements. I've always seen them, but I've never really trusted in them. So for the meal replacement, I tried the Slim and Trim Shake by Skinny Mints. There's 21 grams of protein, only 220 calories per serving, and all the minerals and nutrition packed in there. All I did was mix two scoops with water, and then that's it. Shake it up, drink it, and then I was ready to go. So I personally use this as a pre work Workout meal replacement. You guys can use it as a post workout if you guys want. All right, so I'm gonna have my meal replacement shake as a pre workout slash breakfast. I am actually super hungry right now. You can't really work out properly if you don't have energy, right? Oh, this tastes so good. It tastes like cupcakes, but it's not too sweet because I hate sweet drinks. Clear. I was looking forward to this meal replacement every single morning just because it tastes so good. It tastes like freaking cupcakes. If you are like me and sometimes you skip breakfast and you go to the gym right away or to work, you literally have no energy to work out. I mean, I'm not really sure what I would have done without this. I probably would have skipped breakfast and went to the gym without any energy. Need to make it stop. For lunch, I replaced my amazing Korean foods and salty foods and pizzas into a much more lower calorie, no carb diet. Of course, you still need a little bit of carbs, you guys, don't get me wrong. First couple of days, I made a tofu taco. All right, now it's looking pretty golden brown, so I got this taco seasoning. I had one soft shell taco, which was my limit carb of the day. I mixed in veggies, tofu, low sodium seasoning, and that was pretty much it. And I ate it with a little bit of salad as well. It's okay to put a little bit of seasoning in it just because you don't want to eat things too bland. You want to be happy when you eat. Other days, I had chicken breast with Brussels sprouts, and some other days, I made cognac fettuccine, which is like a vegan plant gelatin. Obviously, it doesn't taste exactly like the real pasta, but it really does the trick. If I personally made avocado fettuccine, where I mashed up some avocado, put a little bit of salt. I miss the way we touch, and I need to make it stop.
if you've never tasted cognac before, it does have like that jelly consistency. Mm. Mm. So you're pretty much filling your stomach up without all the extra calories. For dinner, I decided to still stick with my Korean food. Unfortunately, Korean food has a lot of sodium, so I needed to cut by at least one third what I would usually eat for dinner. Yes, it was hard at first, but after the third day, you start to get really used to your diet. I'm so hungry, you guys. All I'm doing is thinking about food and watching mukbangs. This was the hardest part of the diet when I had to cut off all snacks. So I cut off all my Korean chips, any chocolates. You guys don't know this is not sponsored, but I, I discovered Diet Snapple Peach Iced Tea and that is the best drink ever. Oh my god. It only has 5 calories per <laughs> serving and it saved me this diet. I also found different snacks such as the wheat thins that I found that was low in calories. At first it was really tasty but I think after like the 10th day of eating the same thing I was like, ugh, I don't want this. I believe 12 crackers added to be about 120 calories. So I remember I would limit myself to 12 crackers a day. Also for my in-between lunch and dinner snack what I did was get some fruit juice so all I did was get my fruits. You can get whatever fruits you want. I personally added bananas, strawberries, and peaches. A little hint of honey, a little bit of water. Grind that thing and now you have yourself a nice fruit smoothie. I drank that every single day. It really kept me not hungry for a very long time. I found these something called strawberry fruit crisp and they are freeze dried strawberry. 30 calories and just strawberries as ingredient. That was like crazy. Mm. My stomach. It's so good, but there's so little in here. I'm sure you guys are wondering about the cheat meal. Should I give myself a cheat meal in this diet? Absolutely not. At first, I was gonna give myself two cheat meals. I decided to not give myself cheat meal anymore because it is such a short time. If I was dieting for about more than a month, I would give myself cheat meal once a week. So for the workout, what I did was I went to the gym for at least one hour. A lot of people might say one hour is pretty short in the gym, but technically it is not because I tried to limit myself from going on break. Breaks. As long as you're in the gym and you're doing what you're doing without taking small phone breaks, water breaks, you could do everything in one hour. So I was on the treadmill for 20 minutes. I would do ab exercises for another 20 minutes. And for the rest of the 20 minutes, I would stretch to do arm workouts. Yes, although my goal is to have a flat stomach, you need to work on your whole body to get a flat stomach. You cannot just do ab exercises, not do cardio, and then expect a flat stomach in a short amount of time. <laughs> Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing on the street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Oh, I wanna be with you Let me be the someone who can hold your hand I don't even know if you can understand How you make me feel I got you Something, something I can never be without, yeah I'm in your command Thought I was a man of my own, but It's been two years I'm only a shadow of the good on me now A breeze in my head Cause you know I cannot see no deal Feeling like home But should it be like this? Locked up in your dome You know I fight for you But do I Every time 
later I finally got a flat stomach of course you guys I don't have an ab like a workout trainer abs the biggest thing I noticed was like the bloatedness under my tummy has went away of course it's not perfect if I probably stick to this for another two weeks I think I'd get better results this two weeks was an awesome journey because I actually ate and still lost weight and still had a flat stomach so you guys could do this with eating as long as you guys are kind of careful about what you're eating and really made me realize how much exercise is good for your body I missed out on that for the longest time do you guys see my meal replacement I, I am almost to the end of it although I'm done with my diet I'm going to commit myself to go to the gym every single day from now on at least as much as I can and still incorporate slim and trim into my daily morning breakfast and pre-workout because this was so amazing I cannot believe I'm done with my diet you guys I'm actually so happy because I'm going to Vegas very soon and I cannot wait to have my first meal so you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope this video kind of motivated you guys and you guys could also go on that two week journey with me I feel so good I feel so sexy I don't know I feel like I, I want to flaunt my stomach like everywhere I go 